Hello, today we'll be going over the problem mowing the field from the 2016 January bronze contest. A brief overview of the problem. Uh, Farmer John has a lawn which is, um, or farm which is in the shape of a large 2D grid. And you can kind of think of it as a grid of square unit cells. And so he has to mow this um, grass in the farm. Um, and he does so in basically a sequence of steps. Um, and so he's basically, you're basically given N steps, or I guess they say statements here. And for each um, statement, he travels in a, you're given like a direction, northeast, south, or west, in which he travels, and then um, an integer which is at most um, 10. And so basically, if you look at the sample input, you're given n is 6, so you're, you're going to have 6 lines of input. And so the first line we see north, he's going to be traveling in the north direction. And then um, uh, the next integer is 10, so he's going to be traveling 10 steps in the north direction. So um, yeah, I guess to mention like the limits, n is less than or equal to 100, s is less than or equal to 10, and it doesn't specify how large the grid is, but um, since you can, if we think of it as like a maximum, he can travel, um, I guess, t uh, 100 times and then 10 units, so that's going to be 1,000. So we can just assume that the grid is going to be at most 1,000, um, and then it also doesn't mention whether or not um, it can be negative, so yeah, we should deal with that. Um, yeah, so I guess the whole point of the problem is that when he's mowing the farm, he's going to be traveling to some cells that he's already visited. Um, so we can just try to visualize that. Uh, we have like some kind of a grid. So he travel. He starts. Um, I guess he was starting the origin, but just to visualize it well, we'll start here. He travels uh, here, and then here, here, and then here. So he is going to be overlapping right here. Um, and yeah, so in this case, he he's basically going to mow um, uh, some grass that he's already mowed. Um, but we're given that grass that is cut at time t will reappear at time t plus x. So when he comes back to a spot he's already visited, um, during the time that he was traveling back to it, it might have regrown. And so um, Farmer John is going to claim that he will never encounter a cell that um, the grass is already gone. So what he's basically saying is that when he comes back to a place he's already visited, um, it will have been um, at least x time, or um, the time it takes for the grass to reappear before he gets to the spot. And so, yeah, he's basically saying that no matter what he does, um, he's going to arrive at a place or like the grass is already going to be regrown there. Um, yeah, and so that's basically the whole point of the problem. And I guess some hints to start off is that when we're trying to find the maximum or yeah, sorry, I guess the problem is asking for the maximum amount of time or x that um, it takes for the grass to regrow. So uh, I guess for this problem, the whole point is that we're trying to focus on where Farmer John overlaps in his path. So we're going to take a look at anywhere where he revisits. And that's kind of going to be like the whole focus of the problem. So, um, yeah. Uh, so how can we tell, I guess, how much time it's been 
since we last visited this piece or this cell because um, if we're trying to find the maximum amount of time for the grass to regrow or possible maximum possible amount of time for the grass to reappear then it has to I guess get a uh, fit all the conditions. So what are the conditions in this problem? Well, so it has to reappear for all cells Farmer John revisits. And um, I guess the way we're going to figure this out is, well, we have to focus on cells he revisits and then to track how much time um, it takes in between uh, the visits. So if we visit a cell at t equals, let's say, 3, and then we come back at t equals 6. So in terms of the problem, Farmer John is saying that when he gets back at time t equals 6, the grass is regrown. So um, the maximum amount of time for it to reappear is just 6 minus 3, which is 3. Um, yeah, and so we basically have to somehow keep track of of um, the time between the visits. Uh, I guess I already wrote that up there, but uh, this is basically, I guess, the whole point of the problem now. Um, and then um, all we have to do after this is keep track of the maximum. So keep track of the max time between revisits because, or sorry, it's going to be the minimum. Um, and this is because, let's say we have three right here and then another cell he revisits after time, seven time or units of time then if it takes seven units of time, then um, obviously this one doesn't work because it won't have regrown when he revisits. So we have to take the minimum between all of them and that's gonna give us our maximum. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, how to start with the problem. And in the next video, I'll go over um, the solution more in detail. So thank you for watching.